Have you ever dreamed of getting Judy to walk naked everywhere or change your female's V makeup color even? The answer for that and much more are clearly on Cyberpunk mods. So come with me and let me show you the right way to install all of them. Most of the best PC mods for virtually any game can be found on the Nexus mod webpage. Cyberpunk 2077, of course, would not be any different. There are already over 600 mods and 2.2 million downloads at the moment of recording this video. But to be fair, most of the mods are just reshades and character profiles so far. But either way, there are a handful of pre-mods that I bet you will enjoy. And I will be sure to do in standalone videos showcasing all of them. So make sure to smash that subscribe button so you won't miss any of that. Alright, so now that we got the basics covered, this is how you can install Cyberpunk mods the right way. The first thing you need is to download the Vortex Mod Manager. As you should never click a link that someone sends to you, be a good chump and Google Vortex Mods. The URL should be nexusmod.com slash about slash vortex. Download the latest version and install it. Could be anywhere you want. After installing it, link your Nexus mod account, clicking on the top right corner there, and you're good to go. Before installing any Cyberpunk 2077 mods, you first have to get an add-on from Thundergod97 that you can find by simply clicking on Games tab and searching for Cyberpunk 2077. Vortex will download it automatically and install it, and then it will restart. Now on the top left corner of Vortex, you will see a Cyberpunk 2077 box with a play icon. If you click like icon, the game will fire. However, you can start the game any way you want. After installing the mods, you don't even need to have Vortex open at all while playing. Alright, let's grab some mods now. Just go back to Nexus mods, go to the Cyberpunk 2077 page and start browsing them. I selected a couple of exciting ones to showcase on this tutorial, but be sure that I will be covering all of them in standalone videos. So again, make sure to be subscribed for that. I guess that the easiest one we could try to make sure that everything is working as intended is the no in intro videos a mod that removes the annoying CDPR intro that shows every time you fire the game. You open the mod page and on the top right corner you click on Vortex. A pop-up will show up but you can ignore it. If you're using Chrome or pretty much any other browser I guess, it will ask if you want to use Vortex to automatically open the file, you click the box and hit open. When in Vortex, go to the Mods tab and install the mod you just downloaded by clicking the blue button where it's written Never Installed. What this is doing is in, on the background it is unpacking the files into a separate folder created explicitly for your mods, so nothing has happened to your game files just yet. You can install as many mods as you want without the fear of any conflicts whatsoever. To deploy the mod, now you click on the grey button where it says disable, and what this will do, this will copy the files to the game folder but in a clever way that can be easily reverted by clicking again on the same button. One small yet super important detail that you cannot miss is that Vortex need elevated access to deploy the mods. So you need to click on this blue box on the top right corner where it says elevate and accept the Windows admin prompt. And there you have it. You just install your first Cyberpunk 2077 mod. But wait, 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 wait a second. There is a catcher. At the moment of recording, many mods still haven't updated their versions to comply with Vortex installing system. I have no idea who is wrong here. Is this the guy who created this plugin for Vortex or the modders? I have no idea. I'm not a modder myself, but I'm sure everything will be smoother in a few weeks or days. So depending on when you're watching this video, the following workaround won't be necessary anymore. But regardless of that, this is a good troubleshooting step if any of the mods you're trying to load won't work correctly. For example, a trendy mod is Cyberpunk Engine Tweaks by A. Solet, which the mod allows you to use cheat codes and much more. As you can see on the installing wiki for this mod, you have to copy its contents into the folder bin slash x64, while Vortex will unpack everything at the game's root folder. A quick workaround to make this work is to download and install the mod as usual using Vortex, but do the following steps before deploying it. Click on the drop down menu right next to the install button and click open file manager. This will open the folder where the mod is currently installed on your computer and this has nothing to do with the game folder. As this mod requires the files to be on the folder structure bin slash x64, all you have to do is create this structure yourself. Make sure to have Vortex closed just in case Windows give you any trouble with the files being used and all. When you open Vortex again and enable the mod, 
not forgetting to give elevated permissions, it will deploy the files in the right locations, and the mod will work just fine. By the way, if you pair this mod with the appearance menu mod, it can create some unique moments. Remember the Judy was talking about? Yes, it's that mod. Appearance menu mod. But I guess that's a topic for another video, and I hope to see you there. All right, Chum, that should be all there is to know regarding installing Cyberpunk 2077 mods. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I see you next time.